It's the first E-Model Super Hornet in almost two years. So it's an exciting time today to be a part of that growing program with the development and, and feeling this capability of the U.S. Navy that's desperately needed to counter the threats that they see well into the future. We will be delivering throughout the course of this year five total E-Model Super Hornets and seven growlers that will complete our commitment for FY16. FY17 deliveries will commence starting mid this year. FY18 is behind that. Beyond FY18 is a promising future for F-18. Our one Boeing team has secured production into the mid-2020s. We add capability to the airframe. We've shown a need for Super Hornets well into the mid-2020s, beyond 2030s. It's neat to see the Super Hornet again. E-298 has been a fun project for us. So the team really liked having this aircraft here, and it really gave them a sense of pride to be able to work on something that they knew already and also deliver it on time in a good quality. So I was a, uh, a Super Hornet operational pilot when I was in the fleet. So I know, you know, first and foremost, how formidable the weapon system is and how it can benefit the Navy. I think everybody involved in naval aviation knows how vital the Super Hornet is to the fleet right now. It is an honor to be able to deliver the first one in a year and a half. I'm really excited to look forward for these, these Hornets and the Growlers coming through and SLM program. We're doing a lot here at the St. Louis facility and I think that that's really exciting to see that we have a future here and we're going to be um, here for a while to stay. The FA-18 is called an FA for a specific reason. It has a great performance both in a fighter role and in an attack role. It's dogfighting ability, slow flight, and the fact that it can carry a wide array of both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. Hornet 1 ready for takeoff. We call it the jack of all trades when it comes to, uh, to Navy TAC Air. 